Hello, I'm uh, just going to show you how to get your content library uh, for Revit 2023 for reasons unknown to me. Uh, the install sometimes doesn't, or sometimes or always, I don't know, doesn't include the content library with uh, families and so on. So when you go to place a window family and you go load a family, there's nothing there and the, the, the file path is empty and so on. Okay, very quickly, this is reasonably straightforward. Uh, probably the quickest thing to do is just do a Google search for uh, Revit 2023 or whatever you're working on, uh, content library, okay? Simple as, first result there. Okay, so we get a list of uh, content libraries by region and language and so on, okay? Now, I'm making this video from Ireland and my class is in Ireland, so we're going to scroll down. Ours is the UK library, uh, which... Well, that's another issue. It should be an Irish library, but it's a UK library. Anyway, it's uh, 2023 UK English uh, content for Revit. Download the the file. Now, I've been asked this question. Uh, people have done this, and then they can't find the file that they download because they go into downloads. It's not there. If you've downloaded something from your browser previously into a different folder, it's going to be in that folder, okay? Uh, if you didn't change the, the destination folder here, okay? Now, if you can't find it, after downloading it, you know you've downloaded it and you can't find it. Uh, you know, usually there's a little uh, option to, to, to access it on your, your, uh, the bottom of your screen on your browser. But if you can't find it anyway, uh, simply just go to download it again and have a check and see what folder pops up here. Okay. Uh, and that's where it is. It'll be in that folder. Okay. Escape, escape. So having downloaded it, go to that fo uh, folder and execute the file. So it, it runs and it'll go into the correct file path and do all that stuff by itself, okay? Uh, that's it, more or less straightforward, okay? So when you've got that installed, go back into Revit and File and Options. We need to fix the file path so that when you go to search for families that it, it goes to the right place, okay? So File Options, uh, go down to File Locations and Places. I don't know why they hid it away, but it's down here in Places, okay? And here's our file paths. Now, I've already fixed mine, okay? So it's metric library. That's what we're using. Yours could be Imperial or wherever you are in the world. Uh, click into the, the box. There's a little uh, gray box with dots on it. That's what you're looking to click into, okay? And it brings up the, the browser folder. Okay. So yours may be, at this point, libraries. That's the file path. If you want to pause the, the video there, you'll see the file path. It'll be local disk, program data, uh, Autodesk Revit 20 RVT 2023 libraries UK sorry English UK as, as far as I remember I think 2019 2021 20, would have been libraries and then UK I could be wrong about that but there seems to be an extra folder in the file path uh, right or wrong doesn't matter you'll find it okay so it's that's your file path UK and there's our uh, our content library and okay just open and then that's that fixed when I click okay now since we're here anyway um let's just stick a few other uh shortcuts into that i have what no i haven't done any okay i'm going to add a link to my own uh revit content okay now this is 2023 i'm not really using 2023 uh most of my work is it so far as in uh, 2021 or 2022 uh, but we're teaching this year in 2023 but we've just started anyway so i don't have a whole lot of content transferred over to 2023 if i have any but we're going to check now so i'll just add the plus button and i'm going to call this my revit families let's say okay okay and do the same thing file path and we're in dropbox it's a good idea to keep it in a cloud system uh be that dropbox google amazon work docs onedrive there's probably any number of them okay so tgat that's me uh where is it revit families yeah i don't even have a folder for it yet but just let's pretend it's 2022 okay that's 2023 pretend double click that and open and i'll show you what the effect of that is okay so i click okay and okay and if i go to file and open now on the left side of my windows box there if i scroll down i have my revit families so i can go i have a shortcut to it so you could have a shortcut to your folder where you save documents or whatever so anyway it's useful just to, to populate that that field with a few one or two different shortcut locations 
uh, since you're doing one, you might as well do the others. And that's it. Uh, hope that was useful. And if you have any problems, let me know. Thanks.